hello everybody this is Yoko's Anime Reactions and this is going to be my review for uh, Dr. Stone Season 3 Episodes 10 and 11. They make a lot of stuff in, uh, in these two episodes and this is actually the technical, episode 11 is technically the finale of the first half of Season 3 and the second half has started so you're about to get that too. Anyway, they are in order to get the petrification thing from uh, the enemy. They are planning to have uh, Kohaku and the others lure. I think her name was Kisame. I think away and try and trick her into throwing it, and then they would swipe it with a drone. I'm like, how are y'all gonna make a drone? Y'all haven't even made that back in Japan yet. Uh, technically, they made something better. They made a freaking vehicle. So, it's possible if they made a vehicle, they could probably make a drone. But, yeah, they start by trying to make the motor, obviously, because that's the most important thing. And they test it out by making a small one, by making little, uh, rem like, little remote control race car thingies. Like, it's but dressing them up as mice. So that way people won't question what the frick they are. And Kohaku realizes something when they're walking along. And when they see the mice, the mouse one, she grabs it. And uh, uses her... Uh, they were going to write a letter because uh, they were teaching uh, the others how to write. How to read, you know... Japanese and write because you know this was explained by Ginro but he lied he acted like he had learned with his brother but he did not he said that was stupid and walked off so they have to resort to pictures instead to try and make and show them what Kohaku had seen and it turns out she had spotted where the uh the treasure box is platinum so now they have to work on trying to get at it and, um, yeah, uh, shoot, what else do they do in the episodes? Uh, she tries to break it out because, you know, it's in there, but she has to be very careful because if anybody hears or sees her, she's screwed. So, they make, essentially... Uh, one of the, a way to do, like, a silent bomb type thing, like a mixture, and they deliver it with, you know, the rodent thing, the rodent mobiles, <laughs> if you want to call them that, and give her instructions on what to do, because, or, they give her instructions to the earpiece because she can't read, but they tell her, you know, what to do with it, they give her a thingy to drill the holes but that's gonna make some noise so the other two grab some uh they start doing they start distracting the guards and even when the when you can kind of hear the sound Ginro grabs a spear and acts like he's doing a spear dance and this drowns out the sound which is good and uh Kohaku grabs the tubes that have the uh the solution in it and pokes it through the holes that she drills and they wait, and she goes back at night, and kind of flicks it, and it breaks. Bad thing is, though, it was in a glass bottle, and the bottle breaks, and you can hear it, and the uh, enemy starts coming. She grabs what was in it, which was a bunch of dust, golden dust, I might add, wraps it up in a little baggie, made of, I guess made of her dress, grabs all she can, essentially, and then rushes off and delivers it in the Ratmobile. And we find out this essentially is what, uh, shoot, I'm blanking on his name, um, Byakuya, that's what his name was. I had to think for a second, I had to think for a second what his first name was. 
what his dad had been gathering. Because we found there was gold in there, there was supposed to be diamond in there, and there's supposed to be platinum in there, as far as we know. We hadn't found the diamond, but apparently platinum is very, very hard to find, and you're lucky if you can even find a small fragment of it. And that's essentially all they need is a fragment. And, you know, Senku is sifting through it. He finds a piece of platinum. He puts. He tells them, you know, that's all essentially they need to make the nitric acid to be able to make the revival fluid. And, because that's what nitric acid is. It's the revival fluid, essentially. Or, no, they need nitric acid and they need alcohol to normally make the revival fluid. But I guess they, I don't know. Anyway, he keeps sifting through it while he's talking. And he's like, wait a minute. And he sifted through it. Find more. And he finds a ton of it! And this had to have been gathered over decades. And this actually shows in the flashbacks that we're, that we see that he goes every, he went like every single day and spent, or maybe not every day, he went very, very often and spent a good amount of those days sifting through the river every day, every time until he grew old enough. And then when he finally, it got to the point where he was doing it and he fell, oh, he collapsed, essentially. And that's, that's where he died. It sucks. But he did it. He did it all that time to get, make sure that there was enough platinum that he could use. Because he probably didn't know what the guy was going to, what Senku was going to use it for. He just knew he was going to need it. And because he has all that platinum, now he can make a bunch of nitric acid. Though it's only going to be like probably in small quantities because it's a very, it's like a Jerry rigged little, little contraption that he's making the nitric acid with. But, yeah. The bad thing though... They uh, start to suspect that there is a traitor amongst them, which means that the girls and Genro are in trouble. How this is going to go, though, we don't know. We'll have to wait and see, though we kind of do see in episode 12. So, I will hurry up and get this uploaded, and by the time this is uploaded, I will have recorded the review for episode 12 and be working on getting that uploaded, too. So be excited, and I will see you all in the second half of part three, or season three.